In the high-stakes race for jet engine independence, China and Russia are seen as two giants chasing the same dream, breaking free from Western dominance. Russia's PD-14 recently made its maiden flight, marking a major milestone. Meanwhile, China's CJ-1000A takes a more measured and innovative approach, focusing on cutting-edge technology and long-term reliability. But why, with the same goal of escaping dominance, is the CJ-1000A so recklessly threatening to the PD-14? How will China outpace Russia in this crucial race for aerospace independence? Let's find out. In the 2000s and 10s, both China and Russia shared a common ambition to break the Boeing and Airbus duopoly in the commercial aviation market. This led to the development of the Comac C919 large passenger aircraft in China and the Irkut MC21 in Russia, designed to demonstrate their independence in the aerospace sector. However, both initially relied heavily on Western-made turbofan engines, the C919 used the CFM Leap 1C engine from the U.S.-French joint venture CFM International, while the MC21 used the Pratt & Whitney PW-1400G. This dependence posed a serious vulnerability, as geopolitical tensions posed the risk of supply constraints and technology embargoes. To overcome this, both countries recognized that achieving true independence required the development of indigenous engines. China is focusing on the CJ-1000A engine, developed by the Aviation Engine Corporation of China, or AECC for short, which is expected to power the C919 with comparable thrust and modern design features. In addition, Russia has invested in the Aviad Vigatel PD-14 to power the MC-21, Russia's first new commercial engine in decades, aiming for higher performance and strategic autonomy. Although both are driven by similar motivations, strategic autonomy and national prestige, their development philosophies, technology roadmaps and innovation roadmaps show contrasting approaches to engine design and industrial modernization. So how do the two engines' approaches to development differ? Hit the like button and subscribe to continue exploring. First of all, China's CJ-1000A engine, AECC, is the country's first domestically developed turbofan engine designed for large commercial passenger aircraft. Officially launched in the mid-2010s, the turbofan is expected to replace the CFM Leap 1C on the Comac C919. With a thrust of around 78 to 80 kN, the engine is built to meet modern performance and noise standards under the latest international regulations. The engine incorporates advanced composite fan blades, a Blisk compressor, and 3D-printed fuel nozzles innovations that signal China's entry into the field of advanced manufacturing. One of AEC's most ambitious goals is to master high-temperature turbine materials, which are key to performance and reliability. To achieve this, China has invested heavily in research on single crystal superalloys ceramic coatings and digital twin modeling to simulate engine performance over its entire life cycle. The CJ-1000A's development has been characterized by a cautious and methodical pace. Ground testing began in 2021, followed by integration with the IL-76 test stand in 2023. The roadmap calls for flight testing in the mid-2020s and certification later this decade, likely around 2027 to 2028. In addition to the C919, the ACC envisions a complete family of derivative engines, such as the CJ2000 for the planned C929 widebody and smaller variants for regional aircraft. What differentiates China's approach is its ecosystem-building strategy. AECC is not just developing a single engine, but establishing a national industrial chain capable of sustaining innovation into the future. By investing in digital design systems, continuous seam manufacturing and indigenous materials, science, China aims to gradually wean itself off foreign dependence and lay the foundation for long-term scalability and export potential. By contrast, Russia's PD-14 engine developed by Aviad Vigatel under the United Engine Corporation, or UEC for short, reflects a more immediate mission-focused approach. 
The program, which began in the late 2000s to replace imported engines on the Irkut MC-21, marked Russia's first all-new commercial jet engine in nearly three decades. In terms of specifications, it produces up to 137 kilonewtons of thrust and uses advanced aerodynamic optimization technology, composite fan blades, and a bypass ratio of around 8.5 to 1, resulting in a 10 to 15 percent improvement in fuel efficiency compared to previous Russian engines. The design also incorporates a modular architecture allowing for derivative versions such as the PD-8 for smaller aircraft and the PD-35 for future wide-body aircraft. The engine first flew on an IL-76 in 2015, was certified by Russia in 2018, and began limited production shortly thereafter. Achieving operational readiness faster than the CJ-1000A, the turbofan faces challenges in full commercialization and international certification due to sanctions and supply chain constraints. Russia's dependence on domestic components has accelerated since 2022, prompting rapid substitution of imported materials and electronics. However, it is still a significant step forward for the Russian engine industry restoring national capabilities and laying the foundation for continued growth. Overall, this race for engine independence reflects not only technological hurdles, but also strategic vision. China appears to be taking a more comprehensive and patient approach to building a sustainable engine development platform, avoiding over-reliance on external partners in contrast to Russia's faster but more limited engine program, which is designed for immediate application. However, given the fact that both engines share the same purpose and great ambitions, why does the CJ-1000A overwhelm the PD-14, which is just at the starting line? China's approach to the CJ-1000A versus Russia's PD-14 engine shows why Beijing is rapidly overtaking Moscow in the race for jet engine independence. While both countries share the same goal of freeing their civil aviation industries from dependence on Western engine factories, the paths they have taken have been radically different. China has chosen a patient system-building path, while Russia has focused on speed and immediate application. As a result, the CJ-1000A now represents not only technological progress, but also a smarter long-term strategy. Furthermore, China's decision to launch the Comac C9-19 with CFM Leap 1C engines has proven to be a well-calculated and wise move. By relying on certified Western engines, Comac was able to secure airworthiness approvals, collect real-world flight data, and refine aircraft systems long before its own domestic engine was ready. This phased approach protected the program from delays and gave AECC valuable time to perfect its own design. Once operational, the engine will fit directly into the C919's existing engine nacelle with minimal structural changes a plug-in upgrade that saves years of costly redesign. At the same time, China has invested heavily in mastering advanced turbofan engine shaping technologies such as composite fan blades, blisk compressors, single crystal turbine blades, ceramic coatings, and 3D printed fuel nozzles. These advances improve performance, reduce weight, and extend service life particularly supported by the Made in China 2025 initiative, which has built a domestic supply chain for alloys, sensors, and manufacturing equipment. In parallel, AECC research centers use digital twin models to simulate the entire engine life cycle shortening testing times and improving reliability predictions. This large and coordinated industrial base gives China a scalability that Russia's more isolated engine industry can hardly match. By comparison, Russia faces a severe shortage of imported components after 2022 due to sanctions forcing UEC to look for domestic alternatives slowing production and increasing costs, and any improvements must be retested to Russian aviation standards delaying certification of derivative aircraft models. The market potential further widens the gap between COMAX C919 and CJ1000A, which are aimed at achieving international certification and export, especially to Belt and Road Initiative partners, 
looking for affordable narrow-body jets. However, the Russian engine has largely been limited to domestic operators and a few geopolitical allies limiting its commercial reach. Perhaps most interestingly, the biggest difference lies in vision. China sees its engine as the foundation of a growing family that will eventually expand to the CJ-2000, a wide-body engine that is expected to compete with the GE-9X. The Russian engine, while flight-proven, remains a single-program success with uncertain global prospects. In short, China's strength lies not just in what it builds, but how it builds it. By combining strategic patience, industrial depth, and long-term vision, this program has gone beyond catching up to taking the lead. In the race for jet engine independence, China is not only outpacing its rivals, it is building its own track. Which approach would you bet on China's long-term strategy or Russia's quick strategy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The path of jet engine development in both China and Russia is moving forward with bold global ambitions and a focus on sustained upgrades and innovation based on what is tested and proven. With the upcoming CJ-2000 engine designed to produce thrust in the 78,000 tons to 84,000 pound range, China aims to power wide-body aircraft such as the Comac C929, challenging established Western engines such as the Rolls-Royce Trent series. The CJ-2000 INS advanced engineering includes a turbine inlet temperature approximately 225 degrees higher than the Trent XWB-97, representing a significant technological advance. Furthermore, it is also just a rumor that China is exploring a future hydrogen-powered CJ-1000H variant targeting sustainability, along with energy reflecting a forward-thinking approach that combines environmental responsibility with export ambitions. This fits with Beijing's goal of dominating the international aviation market, especially in countries participating in the Belt and Road Initiative. In addition, Russia's path focuses on specialization and durability. The PD-14 engine is evolving into the larger PD-35 with a focus on heavy lifting cold weather capabilities and reliability. Hallmarks of Russian aerospace tradition. Moscow prioritizes engines that can operate in harsh environments and serve strategic and regional military transport needs over global commercial appeal. In short, China is pursuing sustained deep growth with engines designed for the global market and the future of aviation. Meanwhile, Russia continues to leverage its core strengths of durability and specialization, seeking to maintain aerospace resilience within its geopolitical boundaries. Both paths reflect different strategic choices influenced by each country's unique industrial capabilities and geopolitical context setting the stage for distinct futures in aerospace engine development. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.